Real quick, I just wanted to share that I just wrote a very exciting scene um, of deciding how much I want to tell you. Um, but it takes place in an olive grove, and there, there's definitely a magical portal involved. Um, and uh, by the way, I am in Belvedere Maritimo, Calabria, Italy, um, doing research for the book and also enjoying a really nice time with my friends and uh, my family and Lucy the dog who walked behind me. And I just wrote a bunch of pages. I thought you might want to see a little bit about what the process is like. This book on one side says writings in Italia and the other side is book two research. Um, that's because I'm getting lots of magical sort of divine downloads and creative imagination things and great um, historical references. Um, so many interesting things about for example, people in these mountain areas where I am, um, even though they were by the sea, traditionally it was a place where our invaders came. So there was a, a real fear of the sea. Um, yesterday I was actually in the ocean, and, or in the sea, I'm used to saying the ocean, and it was so powerful and beautiful. And I just feel like all the things I'm supposed to know are coming forward. And one thing I think I'm learning not just about writing, but about life. Um, wow, I'm really, there's something called integration where like you learn something here, but then you're like kind of make it fit so it becomes a part of how you operate. And that's the process of allowing. Um, I think even in my relationships with people, I often see things or know things or want to do things. And I think there's a time as, my uncle John gave me advice to a successful marriage about, you know, having faith and communicating, but also sometimes just keeping your mouth shut. And I think um, it could, that applies to writing and applies to relationships. And sometimes you just have to really trust. There's a plan. Um, I set some intentions and I've had a longing to come back to Italy for a good 10 years almost. And suddenly that longing got so strong that I took small measured steps until they became big measured steps until I'm sitting here in the middle of an olive grove in the mountains of southern Italy talking to you um, and that brings me to just the joy I have in offering um, an opportunity to help make your dreams real I'm gonna be offering this um, soon ways to um, actually create a plan um, um, and get out of your own way. Some of it's active, some of it will probably be that allowing um, things to happen. So um, we can weave magic into it, we can keep it straight business. Um, just think about um, in the next couple months if there's a good fit for us and you want to kind of see what life could be, what's, what's your What's your mountains of Italy? What's your olive grove? What's your book? What's your dream? Um, even if it's quite simply a dream of just being content. Um, because I have to say, uh, I am really, really content and happy and learning that I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be at every moment. So with that, mwah, have a wonderful day and uh, thanks for coming with me to Italy. Bye.